Oh, right. See, now, I don't like opinions when it comes to certain stuff, yeah? In my opinion, I don't like shared ownership. But if you want to go for shared ownership, I would do it. Because the worst thing is, is going off of someone else's opinion. You remember what I said earlier? Oh, I don't think he was in the live stream. All about red tape. Oh, as soon as you give someone an idea, oh, they, oh that's no good. Oh, that, that idea is no good. I can tell someone right now, oh, yeah, I want to start buying and selling cars. They'll tell me about all the negatives to do with buying and selling cars. And they fucking do it themselves. I've had a man who buys and sells cars himself told me, oh, yeah, all the insurance is high and, oh, it's expensive and you might not make that much money. But you're doing it yourself, fam. What are you talking about? Bro? Yeah, you're doing it yourself. But anyway, so when you present an idea to someone or whatever, they'll tell you about all the negatives, isn't it? Yeah. But do you know what? You just need to do what you want to do. But I'll give you my opinion on it. The shared ownership. Whenever I see shared ownership, I never go for it, yeah? But in shared ownership's defense, yeah, I think it's better to own one piece out of four slices of pie rather than to own no, no pieces of that pie at all, if you get what I mean, yeah? So, for example, let's say, right, the difference between, like, let's say, for example, you've got one property, right, that's worth 100 grand, yeah? And you've got one property that's worth a mil, yeah? If you buy the 100 grand property, you own the 100% of that 100 grand property, yeah? If you own 40% of the 4 million pound property, yeah? Then, I'm sorry, the 40% of the 1 million pound property, you own 400 grand's worth of that property, yeah? Let's say you can afford it, right? Well, mathematically, you would say it probably be better to own the 40% of the 1 million pound property because that 40%, that 400,000 pounds, right? Especially if it's located in somewhere like London, if whatever, whatever the mass, whatever the total value of the property is, right? You always earn, you always own 40%. If that 1 million pound property becomes 2 million pounds in 10 years, then you own 800,000 pounds worth of a property. Yeah? rather than your £100,000 property that you own the 100% of in 10 years' time, it's only worth 200 grand. Yeah, So maybe it's be better to do shared ownership sometimes Yeah, because you own a piece of something that's more expensive rather than owning the total of something that's not as expensive, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. I'll repeat again in a sec just in case you didn't hear anything.